This bobcat has, is an illustration of another principle that I use when I am uh, painting a nature scene. Usually my nature scenes have uh, wildlife in them. But one of the things that I have learned and that I was taught is that you don't need to dictate every detail. If you indicate the detail at the edge of something, the viewer will supply, oh, okay, that's what that is. So, for example, if you're painting a brick wall, you don't need to paint every single brick uh, across the whole wall. You can paint some detail, and then you can just kind of suggest it and, and take it off uh, to the side, if that's the style you want to do. It's the same here. I'll zoom in here a little bit. You can see that what I'm doing is I'm outlining and indicating shapes here and I'm going to look at that and I believe the viewer is going to look at this and say ah there's all those grasses laying there on the ground. I don't have to dictate each little piece of grass. I can suggest it. The person who is viewing the painting uh, will supply the rest of the information or, or make the assumption, make the leap that, yeah, that's a bunch of grass laying there on the ground uh, and I don't have to uh, get down in the weeds and indicate every single thing. And the other thing that I'm doing here, and, and I hope you can see it, is I have decided which pieces, how I'm going to select certain shapes and pieces of foliage. And what I'm doing is I am using those as entrance points and pathways to come across this, to come in from both sides, from the bottom. And again, that shape will be defined and it's going to help draw the viewer into uh, the center of interest. But also then it's going to give me, give me a place to go out and to kind of roam my eye around and there's enough interest here in the background that I, the, the person looking at the painting is not going to be bored. Uh, they're going to have lots of what they call eye candy out here in the background. And again, that's part of what you're trying to achieve. So that's simply a part of design of the painting and composition to say, how am I going to treat uh, all of this area around the subject that I want to um, actually feature and make a part of the painting.